What is a quaking bog? A quaking bog is a remnant of the last glaciers. During the glacier's retreat, huge chunks of ice periodically broke off and were buried. Over time, they melted, creating a small but deep depression that would fill with water, known as a kettle pond, and would attract plants that were suited to their unique environments of poor nutrients and great depth. One of the key plants of quaking bogs is sphagnum moss. This plant forms thick mats of vegetation that can hold up to 100 times its weight in water. Because of this ability to absorb liquid and the natural sterile properties it has, it was used during the last World War as a wound packing material. Today it's better known as a garden enhancement and plant packing material. As it forms thick layers, it grows out into the pond around the edges, eventually forming a mat 10 feet or more thick while still overlying water. When walked upon, the ground undulates underfoot, thus the name quaking bog. The difference between a quaking bog pond and a regular pond lies in depth and nutrient base. Regular ponds are often much shallower and have a relatively rich mi nutrient mixture from the continually decaying material that will eventually fill it in. A bog is a sterile environment. The sphagnum moss that is a predominant feature creates an environment that preserves rather than decays. This is the reason that huge beds of peat accumulate in certain places, Ireland for one, and can be mined for peat turves that are burned like wood. Peat bogs form the basis for many of the coal deposits that we mine now. The layers of material preserve pollen, making them important for reading the record of climate change. Bogs in Europe have even preserved people, dead ones that is, known as bogmen, tanning their skin like leather. Because of the poor nutrients, bog plants are creative in their pursuit of plant food. Quaking bogs are habitats for a wide variety of carnivorous plants that are able to supplement the poor quality of environmental nutrients with live food, captured by a variety of methods. Pitcher plants are vessels that have water with enzymes inside that can digest protein. When insects fall or crawl inside the pitcher, downward pointing hairs prevent them from leaving and they get digested by the plant. Their flowers have unique features that force the insects that pollinate them to crawl into a tight space, ensuring that they will carry pollen out. Other carnivorous plants, such as sundew, have sticky hairs that capture the insect and hold it until it's digested. Quaking bogs are also homes to rare plants, such as the tiger's mouth orchid, which is endangered in many states. One of my favorite quaking bogs is the Black Pond Preserve in Norwell, Massachusetts. It's situated in a white cedar bog, white cedars being the predominant tree within the bog. As the bog ages and fills in, it will move into a succession of growth as other trees, such as oaks, move closer to the surrounding edges. However, it will always remain a wetland. Environments like this are very fragile but are also fascinating and valuable, not only for their uniqueness, but for their ability to stir the curiosity of those that encounter them in a way that will ensure their future preservation.